There's layers. layers, layers, layers. I, I mean, there's no way around it. Whatever layers you have, whenever you think you're like, oh, I'm layered up, add on another layer or two just to be on the safe side. So the winter coat, you know, maybe multiple coat layers there. Warm socks, you might want multiple layers of socks, your warm shoes as well. Mittens, wear those if you have them, some very warm, thick mittens or thick gloves. And then that warm hat, make sure your ears are covered, your head is covered. That is critically important. Let's talk about that game day forecast. Here's how things are looking. We're trending a little bit colder. So for tailgating, four degrees, feeling like 13 below zero. We'll actually have the clouds clearing some as we go through our Saturday evenings. That'll allow the temperatures to continue to cool off. Two degrees at kickoff, zero heading home. We will be dry, so you won't need to worry about any snow or ice. But again, it's the cold, 16 below with the wind chill there at kickoff, 20 degrees below zero heading home. You can get frostbite on exposed skin uh, within 30 minutes when those wind chills start dipping below uh, or near 20 degrees below zero and colder. So keep that in mind layer up. Take the cold seriously. Right now we are cloudy as we look towards the west, towards the city. We're currently at 31 degrees, so we're already below the freezing mark. It feels like 20 because that east-northeast wind at 15, so that's pumping in more of that chilly air. That's why many of us, especially the metro and areas northward in the 20s and lower 30s, not quite as cold the farther south you live. Still at 43 in Clinton, 37 degrees for Lacine. These temperatures will be very important as far as our weather story goes for the rest of the evening as moisture starts to move in. We're mainly dry for now, but as we start going through the evening, we'll have chances for some light freezing rain, changing to kind of a light freezing rain snow mix the later in the evening that we go. Temperatures, they're going to very slowly cool during the evening hours. We'll have that east northeast wind continuing to pump in some of that chillier air, but the notable drop in temperature that moves in after midnight. So future scan, it shows that moisture will start to develop more so as we go through the evening after about eight or nine, you see that pink on the map. So that's that light freezing rain. And depending on where you live, if you're above freezing, maybe just a very cold rain coming down farther north in northern Kansas, northern Missouri, all snow for you. That continues through the nighttime hours. There's 3 a.m. Still might have some freezing drizzle in the metro. Then the temperatures tank after again after midnight, especially after 2 a.m. Tomorrow morning, there still might be some flurries around through the morning hours that linger through about midday. But the bulk of the accumulating snow out of this system will be very close to the Missouri Iowa border, the Kansas Nebraska border, where two to five inches will be possible. I'd say St. Joseph and northward around the metro and area southward, a dusting to an inch. But we also have that possibility of a light ice glaze as well. Your 12 hour forecast for tomorrow will keep that weather impact through the day. Snow showers in the morning. Look at the temperatures, high single digits, low teens in the morning. We maybe get back to about 12 in the afternoon, but because of that strong northwest wind, it'll be gusting up near 25 or excuse me, near 45 miles an hour. Our wind chills will hang out below zero all day long. So that Arctic air starts to move in tomorrow. It sticks around through the weekend into early next week. And we're talking about single digit highs for Saturday, Sunday and Monday. One, your high temperature on Sunday, and look at the lows here. Zero Saturday morning, but closer to 10 below zero for Sunday morning, Monday morning, and Tuesday morning. The wind chills are on the dangerous category, and that's why we have all these alert days here. 15 to 30 degrees below zero. That's what it will feel like. We start to get out of the deep freeze towards the middle of next week. Then we get another shot of colder air, pushing our lows, our highs back into the teens next Friday and Saturday.